Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Jay from Coding with Jaybird, where I upload weekly tutorials to help build your confidence in coding. Today I'm going to talk about formatting text. Let's dive in. Here I've created a formatting text folder which is open in VS Code. Now let's go ahead and create an index.html file so we can start coding inside of that. Let's start with our starter template. So we'll have our standard doc type, HTML. And now for the opening and closing HTML tags, we can actually have an attribute in here that sets the language to English. And next we have the head of the document, inside which we have our meta tags. Now so far we've seen just the character set where we set that to UTF-8. Now there are other types of meta tags we can use as well, where we can set this name attribute to let's say author, and then the content for this would equal coding with Jaybird. Another meta tag might be where the name is equal to description. And then we set the content for this equal to HTML and CSS tutorial for beginners. We can even set the meta tag to have some keywords that are used for SEO. And the content of these keywords would be something like, let's say HTML, CSS, and so on. All right, so after the head of our document, what follows next is the body of our document. And this is where whatever we're gonna display in the browser is going to go. So for today, I wanna to start with an H1 tag, and we'll say this is formatting text. And then after that, I want to show you how we would put a comment in HTML. So comments in HTML are written like this, where we have a left angle bracket, exclamation, dash, dash, and then we close it with just dash, dash, and a greater than symbol. So comments in HTML are written like this. Now you can also create a comment by just typing command forward slash on a Mac or control forward slash on a Windows. Today I'm going to cover a few different ways that we can format text using HTML tags. So the first one that I want to talk about is bold text. By enclosing words in an opening and closing B tag, we can make characters appear bold. Now this doesn't tell the browser that these words have any importance, it just makes them look more bold. Let's start with a P tag. I can make my text, and now let's say I want the next word to be bold. I would create an opening B tag and a closing B tag, which just has the same letter B, but with the forward slash in front of it. And inside these tags, I would write the word that I want to make bold. So if I save this and I press this go live, so I use our live server extension, we can see that I've taken that sentence and displayed it with the word bold in bold. Something similar is called strong text. Now strong text uses a strong element, so basically an opening and closing tag with the word strong inside of it. And we're telling the browser that the content within this opening and closing tag is not only meant to be bold, but it's also meant to have strong importance. So once again, let's say I have a P tag, making my text, and now I would have a strong opening and closing tag. And in here is the word important is so easy. And here we can see we've done the same thing where we've taken the word important and we've made it bold. The only difference is that we're telling the browser whatever's between these opening and closing tags is of importance. Next, let's talk about emphasize text. So the HTML element with the letters EM inside of it defines emphasize text. The content inside is typically displayed in italic, but it's read out normally. So not only is this text italics, it's, we can see EM, opening and closing tag, and in here I wanna have the word emphasized as well. And here you can see the word emphasized is in italic. Now let's say you wanted to highlight some text. That's also doable in HTML where we can have marked text, and we can do this by having an opening and closing tag with the word mark inside of it. So HTML mark element defines text that should be marked or highlighted in the browser. So 
but I can easily mark and whatever goes in this mark is going to be highlighted my words and here you can see highlight is highlighted in bright yellow we can also create subscript text the HTML sub element defines subscript text subscript text appears half a character below the normal line and it's sometimes rendered in a smaller font now it's commonly used for footnotes or chemical formulas so let's have a look at that this is and I'll have an opening tag with the word sub in it and a closing tag with sub as well and I'll say this is my subscripted text and here you can see the word subscripted is kind of drop down a little bit halfway down the line and it's a bit smaller as well. Similarly, we have something called superscript text. Now superscript text is an HTML element with the word soup inside of it or SUP inside of it, which defines superscript text. This appears half of a character above the normal line and it's usually rendered smaller as well. Now superscript text is often used for suffixes of dates or mathematical concepts such as raising number to a power like 2 to the power of 5 or something. This is my, and I'll say 36, and now let's say I want the th that follows this to be at the top. So I would put the th in between the opening and closing SUP tags, video, tutorial. And there it is. 36 and you can see the th is sitting in smaller text halfway up the line. Now let's say you wanted to show some text that was once there but now it's deleted. Well you can create what's called deleted text as well. The HTML DEL element or delete element defines text that has been deleted from a document. Now browsers will usually strike a line through this particular deleted text. So I want to display some text that has been, and now I'll use an opening and closing DEL tag to show what's deleted from the page. And there you can see there's a line going through the word deleted. We can also show inserted text. The HTML element called INS for insert defines a text that has been inserted into a document. Now browsers will usually underline inserted text to show that it's been added in the document. Let's create a p tag. I will be adding, and here I can have an INS opening closing tag, some important words. And here you can see some important words has an underline under it. So that indicates that it's been added to our document. And lastly, let's talk about something called small text. So the HTML small element defines any smaller text. Now this is usually used in the footer of a document. So here you'd have an opening and closing small tag. Writing smaller text can be useful in the footer of a document. Oops, the footer of a document. And here you can see the sentence is very small. These are just a few ways in which you can quickly format your text in the browser simply by using HTML tags. If you've been enjoying my video series, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all my tutorials. Until next week, keep on coding.